What's up H5, it's Mr. Hildebrand here with our next tutorial video for Soundtrap, all right? So today is a fun day. We get to use Soundtrap to record our own voice. But before we get started, all right, I wanna show you our YouTube channel. Make sure you've been using this, okay? So here's the YouTube channel for H5 Specials. You can search for Ryan Streb in the search bar, like that. Or you could search for any of our names, Hildebrandt, Camera, Streb, Session, all right? We're all here. Click the videos and you can see all these videos. Mr. Streb has posted all the videos for your Olympics. So check out your country. Miss Camera has art videos. Miss Phipps has chess videos, okay? So check that out. Where I want you to go right now though is playlists. Because I create a playlist just for Soundtrap videos. All right, so if you just want to learn all about Soundtrap, then you'd click view full playlist. And here are all the Soundtrap. So, so far I've done part one, getting started. Part two, creating an original drum and an original bass part. Part three, creating an original melody and harmony. And today is part four, and we are again creating original melody, but we're not gonna use the computer. We're gonna use our own voice and the microphone in your Chromebook or your iPad to record your voice. How do we do it? Let's get started. All right, let's pick a song that we want to record. Say there's a song you've heard before and you like it, but you want to change some things, all right? Like, oh, I like that song, it's cool, but I wish it was higher so I could sing it better. Or I wish it was faster so I could dance to it. Or I wish the beat was better, I can create a way better drum beat. Well, let's do it. So here we go, let's think of a, cool, a song that we want to work on. Go to Google, how about Sunflower from the Spider-Man soundtrack, all right? Now, if I want to know how to play a song, I want to know the chords of the song. So I type in Sunflower chords. This website, ultimateguitar.com, that's your place to be. You can also go to YouTube to show you how to play it on guitar or maybe on keyboard. But for today, we're going to ultimateguitar.com. Why? Because this website is going to have all the lyrics of the song and all the chords. All right? So here we go. Here's a, 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 a. We know what that is, right? We're familiar with that. Right above that lyric is the chord symbol that we need to know. All right? And for the chord symbol, it has a big uppercase letter D. Now, if we remember, an uppercase D with nothing else means what quality of D chord? There are two qualities. There's a major quality and a minor quality. If it's got nothing next to it, just a big letter, then what quality of chord is it? If you're thinking major, then you're correct. That's the D major chord right there, which means this is the G major chord. Now here we go. E little m. That little m stands for what? If you said minor, then you are correct. So we got D major, G major, E minor, and G major again. And guess what? Those are the only chords of the whole song over and over and over again. So super great song to start off with. So let's find out what those chords are all about. All right. If you will have in your folder the songwriting worksheets that we've been working on. And in that songwriting worksheet, you should see the chord sheet that we've been using to help us figure out what chords have what notes. It should look like this. So what chords are we looking for? D major, right there. D, F sharp, A. So let's go to Note Flight and let's put those chords in. So first things first, the chord well, the title of the song is Sunflower. The composer is Mr. Hildebrandt slash, what's that guy's name again? Post Malone, how could I forget? So I don't wanna take all the credit. Post, oops, Malone. And that first chord was D major, and it was spelled what? D, hold shift F, make it sharp, hold shift press A, and there's my D major chord. Now, if I wanna repeat the chord, I press what letter? That's right, R. And there are eight D major chords. Why do I need eight of them? Well, if I listen to the song, I got eight times of the first chord before it changes. All right, let's go back in. The next chord is G major. So we got to our chord sheet, G major. Right, where's G major? There it is, G, B, D. So we go to our sheet, type in G, hold shift B, hold shift D. And if I wanna repeat, I hit the letter R eight times. All right, very cool. Now I need more measures, so I'm gonna add some more measures. Press the plus sign here. 
I'm going to need four more measures. Perfect. Let's go back to our song. What's the next chord? E minor. Here's the worksheet. E minor. Where are you, bugger? There you are. E, G, B. What's that called? E minor, which is E, G, B. Hit R to repeat. And the last chord, back to G major. So here we go. I do, can do it again. G, B, D. Guess what I can also do? I could select this measure, edit, copy, or command C. Click the measure I want to add it to, edit, paste, or command V. Boom, there it is. Press the measure I want, command V, boom, there it is. Copy, paste, your best friend. So there we go. I got the Sunflower song ready to go with the chords. Let's listen to it. Excellent. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Mr. Hildebrandt, something's wrong with that song. You didn't play it right. Something's weird. If you are thinking that song is too fast, you're absolutely right. We got to change this tempo up here. Tempo. We're going to change that to, let's look at the short sheet. Maybe it'll tell us. Ooh, there it is. BPM 90. BPM stands for beats per minute. 90 beats per minute. So I change this to 90. Let's listen to it again. Ah, uh, there we go. Much better. Eh, 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 eh. Cool. So now that the chords are in, I want to add the bass part. All right. So let's go to score. Let's go to parts. Let's add a part. Let's do a pluck string. Electric bass. And now I have a whole new part. Now the bass part is only going to play the bottom note of each chord. Okay, so for example, for the D major chord, the bass player plays a D. That's it. R -r 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 repeat. For the G major chord, the bass player plays a what? That's right, a G. For the E minor chord, the bass player plays a what? E. And, oops, too many. And for the G major chord at the end, the bass player plays the G. Select, copy, paste. Boom, copy, paste. Let's listen to it now. Yeah, that bass really gives it a lot more oomph. All right, now that I have all my chords and my bass, I'm going to put this into Note Trap. So let's do that. Score, export, MIDI. Does anyone remember what MIDI stands for? Psst. If you don't, Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Continue. There's my Sunflower MIDI right there. I go over to Soundtrap now. So I'm in Soundtrap. All right. Add new track. Import file. I can do a couple things. I can search for it here. All right. I could also drag this into the part that I want. All right. So cool. Here it is in sun Soundtrap. Ooh, we know what the problem is. It's too fast. Got to change that tempo. What was that number again? 90. Here we go. Pretty cool, but this is a rap song, right? This is a, this needs drums. So I'm gonna add a new track. I'm going to add drums and beats. Nice. I like that. Added my beat. Loop it. All right, I'm gonna shorten these loops here so everything ends at, here we go. All right, very cool. So here we go, that's it for this video. All I wanted to show you now is how to take your song, find out what the chords are, find out what notes are in the chords, put those chords into Note Flight, 
put that note flight file into Soundtrap. In the next video, we're going to talk about how we're going to use our vocals like I promised. All right? Peace out, H5. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.